Um, decisions are based on emotions. We have already been talking with facts, but facts are useless if you do not have the general opinion on your side. So this is a quote from one of the bird ecologists I collaborate with in my project. An ecologist who is frustrated because apparently the facts are not always enough to convince the locals to act on the rapid decline of black-tailed godwits, or as they are called in Dutch, hrutos, the national birds of the Netherlands. Bird ecologists from our university have been meticulously working on the species and its habitats for almost 20 years. And they are convinced that their data show the deadly effects of the intensive agricultural practices, not only uh, on the species, but unfortunately also on the biodiversity of the traditional Dutch meadows. But what about the locals and the farmers from the study area? Are they convinced as well? And if not, why? My name is Selan Eran, a PhD candidate in Science and Technology Studies from the Department of Knowledge Infrastructures at Campus Friesland. Uh, in my PhD project, I'm collaborating with bird ecologists to understand how they produce scientific knowledge and to address the loss of trust in science. And last spring, I lived for three months with these bird ecologists. And while they were collecting data on crutos, I was collecting data on them. And one of the things that struck me the most during this period was um, the amount of the effort and time put in keeping good relations with farmers and the locals. Because researchers need farmers on their side so that they can have the permissions to enter the fields where birds nest, so that they can collect data on these nests and birds. But if farmers are not convinced about the benefits of the research, if they think that the research damages birds more than it actually helps, and if they think that they actually help birds themselves better than scientists, well, then they will simply refuse to let researchers enter their fields to collect data. Then what we see here is that the loss of trust in science is not only problematic for implementing science-based environmental policies, but also problematic for producing relevant scientific knowledge to begin with. And the SUSO grants that the committee generously awarded my project will help me finance a research visit to one of the world leading research groups in Harvard, where I will hopefully work with experts on the crisis of trust in science. And during this visit, I will be working with the data I will collect by interviewing farmers, ecologists and, and um, conservationists from the, uh, from the study area before I leave for the visit. And overall, to tackle this challenge, I will investigate where the trust in science stems from for all these different stakeholders and will suggest recommendations that doesn't always avoid frictions between these stakeholders, but instead use frictions to take into account multiple expectations from science to build trust. Because after all, scientific knowledge is not produced merely by and for scientists in a vacuum, but in collaboration with and for society. Thank you.